y'all dance to dream, I like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again. Because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities, we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. And my goal here at Dawn Dance to Dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again. Now, I, I want you to understand, I started Dawn Dance to Dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my backdoor way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree. And that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And thank you to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Dares to Dream today to see what we're all about. Well, if you've been following me, you know I am on my MBA Mindset, Belief, Action Workbook series. Now, if you have not received your copy of the MBA workbook, it is imperative that you do because as you go along in this series, you are going to need the workbook and the activities that you have performed to go hand in hand with the lesson. So today we are going to continue our thought about belief. And I want to share a short story with you that I may have shared before about how I began to question my own belief system. It wasn't anyone who told me I needed to. I just felt at the age of 17 that I needed to. Now, I was a senior in high school and I had a teacher who was an atheist or agnostic. I'm not sure which one. And that intrigued me because how do you not believe in God? You know, I grew up my entire life believing in God. He never pushed how he felt on his students at all. But it was very interesting to meet someone completely different than I was and who believed completely th differently as well and was my elder, you know? So it was just interesting to me. I never really talked to him about it or asked any questions. I just enjoyed how candid he was with his belief system. And then on the flip side, I had another teacher who uh, was my English teacher and we had four different topics for the year for English. Like what is truth? What is beauty? What is commitment? And what is something else? And I can't remember the fourth one. I think by the fourth one, I had checked out, <laughs> you know, in my brain. So I don't really remember that one. But what is truth, I believe, was the first one. And it was the first topic. And it, it made me scour who I am, why I am who I am, why I believe this way. And at the end of that, I call that my truth. And for me, God was my truth. And I basically said, I believe in God and I believe that I'm here to serve a purpose on this earth that God wants me to serve. And if I do well, I'll find out when I die because that's when I'll meet him. But it allowed me to question myself even further because I also thought, well, what if your truth is wrong? What if there's no God? So what of all these deeds you've done here on this earth? Are you happy you did them? You sad you did them? Do you think you wasted your time? What do you think about them? And you know what I decided? It didn't matter whether God existed or not. It mattered what I felt in my heart and what I wanted to do in my heart to help other people. And if there was no God, then there was no God. But I still serve the purpose that I chose to serve here on this earth. So that was a 17 year old way of thinking and reviewing my belief system. Because I came out on the other side saying... I still believe the way that I believe and it doesn't matter whether or not it's really true because it's my truth and I'm going to live my truth. So we fast forward to today, 46 year old woman. Well, I'm 45, I'll be 46 this year. I'm trying to get in practice of saying 46. Well, I'm 45 and I enjoy 
having discussions or dialogues with individuals who believe the way that I do, who believe differently, who believe similarly. I just enjoy how we feel we came up with these thoughts and these beliefs that we have. Because a lot of the times we really feel like our beliefs aren't a choice. We feel like we have inherited them or we believe them because of being raised a certain way. And that is how we will remain for the rest of our life. And we will pass these traditions, these religions down to our children and it'll keep going. And that's how the religion thrives because we pass it down one to another. Now, I don't really believe in religion in the sense that I feel most people uh, live it daily. I honestly believe that I was placed on this earth to deliver a message, to be there for others, to help others, but I don't necessarily believe it's based in religion anymore. I used to think that I was supposed to be like this minister, evangelist, or whatever, who delivered the gospel of Jesus Christ to the masses. That's what I felt. I felt that was my mission. But as I've grown and I understand how the world works and how things have occurred, I personally feel that people need more than just a religious message. They need to understand that they have been created to create which means you create the life that you choose, which means no matter what your circumstances are, you can change them and you can move forward and you can do more, you can do better, and you can give back and you can promote your community to do the same. So that is my new message, but I don't really feel like it's changed. What has changed is I, I don't put religion in it because I honestly believe that people should believe the way that they choose to. And I don't want the help that I provide or the motivation or inspiration that I provide to come from just a religious standpoint. There's nothing long, wrong with religion. Believe in God all day long, you know, worship him, everything. It's wonderful. But I choose to show or deliver a message that says we all are worthy of getting from where we are now to where we want to be in the future. Some of us just need a little coaching, a little inspiring, a little motivating. So I want you to take some time to read through the different activities in this section. There are plenty of them because I want you to, like I said before, open your mind to being able to explain, not to me, but to yourself, why you believe the way that you do. Because belief is a choice. And I'm not just saying belief in a religion or God is a choice. I'm saying belief in the total form of what belief is, is a choice. I can choose to believe in myself and to believe that I can be successful in this world, or I can choose the opposite, that my life is a mess and I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. I don't know how I'm going to fix it and change it. So this is just the way that it is. Either way, you're choosing to believe. You're choosing to believe that you're going to be a success or you're choosing to believe that you're not going to be a success, right? I want you to look through these activities and do these activities and do them from your heart. Do them understanding where you come from, where you've been, the different circumstances you've had in your life and the belief system that you've chosen to believe. I want you to look at that belief system and say, hey, do I truly believe in the belief system that I've been carrying around my entire life? Because guess what? If you do not believe in the belief system that you have chosen, then it isn't going to work for you. Because some of us sit back and we go, I've been believing in God and all these blessings and I'm not being blessed. Everyone else is. Why are they being blessed and I'm not? Because you don't believe that you can be blessed. It's just that simple. It's about belief. So when I ask you, is your belief ser system serving you, which I think is question number one, I'm not asking you from a derogatory perspective of you should not believe in your religion. I'm asking you to think about why it isn't serving you in your heart. And if it is working for you, I want you to dig deep and hold on to that as we go through the different activities for belief. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, remember to leave me a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to get back to you. Share this with your social media, like Facebook, for example. 
Also, my face is going to be up here in a circle. It's going to be up here in a circle. I want you to click on my face, select the gray bell, select all, and that way you'll be subscribed to my channel and you will be notified to all the new content that I place up here to YouTube. And on this side, I'm actually going to put two playlists, the 21 Day Cleanse playlist. If you've missed that, I have trimmed down and I'm so excited. I stand at like 168 pounds today. And I'm so excited because I started like 183, somewhere in there. <laughs> So I have reached my goal. My goal was 170. So I'm excited. So watch that if you need some tips and tricks on how to lose weight successfully and how to keep it off. And I'm going to have the MBA workbook playlist. So if you've missed any of the videos or the episodes, you can go back and watch them. Now, if you we're in belief now, we did do mindset. I believe there are about seven, seven videos that are all about mindset. I want you to go back and look at those and then come back and begin the belief section again. Also take this seriously. I need you to do your workbook activity. So as you watch the videos, you can go, oh, okay, this is what she's talking about. Oh, I need to change that. Oh, I didn't think about that that way. It's important that you do the activities prior to watching the videos. And if you want to receive your free copy of the MBA workbook, it's in the description for this post. You can click on the link to my website in the description for this post and go there and register and receive your free copy of the MBA workbook. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Have a great day, dreamers.